All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna go over a bag work workout to increase your endurance either for boxing or MMA. Let's get into it. Okay, so the reason why I decided to put this one together was because a lot of times when you're talking about mixed energy system sports like MMA and something like boxing or anything that's going to have a lot of movement and a lot of change of direction, a lot of change of pace, we wanna start working on the energy systems that are gonna be appropriate for that particular sport. So for that, we're gonna be working through delivery and oxygenating training or balanced energy system training. Now, what is that? Primarily, from the old moniker, we're looking at a threshold method. So we're gonna be working in those maximal threshold zones, right? So your lactic threshold zone or your anaerobic threshold zone. Basically what we wanna do is we wanna accumulate as much lactate into the working muscle to allow for more energy to be produced in time throughout the fight and throughout your training. So basically what we're trying to accomplish here is we wanna work around our lactate balance point. Now, for most of you, it's gonna be around 80 to 90% of your maximal heart rate. Now, that is dependent upon the individual, so you need to know your maximal heart rate to do this particular style of work, right? It's gonna be about medium duration and high but tolerated efforts. So you wanna make sure that you're still able to get the technique down and you're still able to put as much energy out as possible, but you don't wanna be taking your last dying breath while you're doing this. All right, now you can utilize cyclical or mixed modality training or acyclical movement patterns. Today, we're gonna to be doing two different movements or two different styles of work. And one is obviously gonna be hitting the bag and then the other one is going to be holding on to a medicine ball and I'll go over more detail in that in a minute. So with the particular protocol that we're gonna to utilize today is gonna to be regional tissue desaturation because we're gonna be working from the upper body. So the hips up and Primarily what we're gonna be doing is working the bag, doing massive amounts of volume with punching, and then gonna utilize a heavy object to squeeze and what we call lactate retention. I'll go over that in a minute. To increase that lactate buildup, to help you increase your lactate transport that's going to ultimately help you with more energy output, right? With the absence of oxygen, once you desaturate the muscle, we're gonna need that lactate to help with ATP regenesis. So that's what we're gonna be doing today with this particular protocol. Now let's go over the entire workout and get started. All right guys, so here is the workout. Now what we're gonna be doing is three by three minute rounds. So three minutes of work, 90 seconds to recover. And we're gonna do this for three rounds total. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one minute speed. So high volume, very high volume. So we're gonna be doing one twos, fast punches, just kind of working your speed endurance. So as many reps or how much punch volume you can accumulate over that one minute of time. You're gonna start throwing hard power shots for one minute and the volume is gonna be medium, right? So we're gonna be throwing one twos, hooks, uppercuts, whatever, whatever bag you have. I'm gonna do it on a heavy bag. So I'm gonna be throwing more of the hooks and, and overhands and, and heavy shots there. So I'm gonna do that for one minute total. And then I'm gonna take my gloves off real quick, run over to the medicine ball, pick up the heavy med ball, it's 100 pounds. You can work to whatever strength range you have, um, but you do want it to be fairly heavy. And I'm gonna grab that ball, hug it to my chest and carry it for one minute straight. Now with that, you are gonna get your hips involved, right? Your hips, your core, all that's gonna be involved along with your upper body as you're squeezing the ball. So you're gonna be working your biceps, you're gonna be working your back, okay? After that's done, you're gonna take that 90 seconds and rest and then you're gonna repeat that two more times for three total rounds. Okay, so for week one, if you're looking to enhance boxing performance and we're trying to work in the specific time domains of boxing, you can do three by three minute rounds, 90 second rest. If you're looking to do it more MMA based, you can do a two by five minute round in the same uh, time of rest. Three by three minute rounds, 75 second rest. Again, two by five minute rounds there. Three by three minute rounds at 60 second rest. And again, for MMA, it's gonna be two by five with the 60 second rest. Now at the deload, when it, this is primarily going to be the week of the fight, you wanna do this roughly nine, maybe 10 days out. Or if you are 
recovering really well, you feel like you're good to go, you can do this about seven days out, but I wouldn't go anywhere later than that. So usually seven days out is gonna be your cutoff point, right? So that'll be your deload and you could do two, three minute rounds at 90 second rest or just do one five minute round at 90 second rest, all right? So there it is. If you wanna find out more details on how you can train boxing or MMA in a particular format, a systematic approach with performance being strength and conditioning based, you can check out Fight Ready, that's my MMA program, or Heavy Hitter, which is my boxing program. Link is down below if you wanna try those programs out. I highly recommend them. You're gonna have something similar of a protocol inside of those programs as well, all right? So if you like this video, you know what to do, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so, make sure you hit the notification if you are subscribed so you know when my videos come out, and I'll see you again next time, peace.